Welcome to Weekly Go Quickies. In today's episode, we're going to talk about Next.js versus React. We're going to learn what is React, what is Next.js, what are the differences, where to use them. I'm your host, NobleBM, and let's get started with the episode. React and Next.js are both popular tools for building web applications, but they serve different purposes and provide different sets of features. So here's a detailed comparison between Next.js and React. First of all, what is React? React is a JavaScript library developed by Facebook for building user interfaces, particularly single page applications, also known as SPAs. Now React is primarily concerned with the view layer, the UI, and allows developers to create reusable UI components. So the key feature of React are component-based architecture, which enables building complex UIs from small, isolate the pieces of code called components, also virtual DOM, which provides performance by minimizing direct manipulation of the real DOM. Then we have unidirectional data flow, which simplifies data management and debugging by enforcing a single directional data flow. And last but not least, rich ecosystem. A wide range of third party libraries and tools are available to extend React's capabilities. So where can we use React? What is the usage of React.js? React is ideal for creating dynamic and interacting UIs, where real-time data updates and user integrations are a key. Commonly known as SPA, so single page applications, this is where the entire application is loaded initially and subsequent interactions don't require full page reloads. So let's talk now about Next.js. Now, Next.js is a React framework developed by Vercel that enables server-side rendering, known as SSR, and static site generation, known as SSG, along with other powerful features. It is built on top of React and provides a set of tools and conventions to streamline the development of React application. Now, what are the key features of Next.js? First of all, SSR, which stands for Server Side Rendering. This generates HTML on the server for each request, improving initial load time and SCO, of course. Static Side Generation, short for SSG, generates static HTML and build time, which can be served quickly and efficiently. API routes, allowing you to create API endpoints as part of your applications without setting up a separate server. File-based routing, which then simplifies routing by using the file system and defined routes, reducing the need to additional configuration. Automatic code splitting, which optimizes performance by only loading the necessary JavaScript for the current page. And built-in CSS and SAS support, providing integrated support for styling with CSS and SAS. So what are the use cases now for Next.js? Now Next.js is suitable for applications where SEO, and this is very important, performance and easy deployment are critical. Because I must say React is not that SEO friendly. Now commonly used for static websites, e-commerce sites, blogs, and any application that benefits from SSR and SSG, Next.js is your go-to framework. Key differences between React and Next.js. Rendering modes. React primary is client-side rendering, so CSR. It requires additional setup for SSR using libraries like Next.js. On the other hand, Next.js supports SSR, SSG, CSR, and incremental static generations out of the box. Routing. In React, routing requires a routing library like React Router which is a pain in the woohoo to handle navigations and routing. On the other side, Next.js provides a built-in file-based routing system, setup and configuration. React offers flexibility, but requires more setup and configuration for complex development environments like building, SSR, routing, and so on and so on. On the other hand, Next.js provides a more opinionated setup with sensible default and built-in features, reducing the need for additional configuration. Performance optimization. React developers need to manually handle performance optimization and code splitting. 
On the other hand, Next.js has automatic code splitting and performance optimization out of the box. And now the big one, SEO. Because if you will build a website, you want crawlers to actually crawl your website. And for this, the website needs to be SEO friendly. Now React SEO can be challenging with client side rendering since search engines may not fully index content load dynamically. But in Next.js, SSR and SSG improves SEO by serving fully rendered HTML to the search engine. So when to use what? For example, React. When you need full control over your application's architecture would be one case. Or for sparse single page applications where SEO is not the primary concern and also when you want to use specific sets of tools or libraries not included in Next.js. On the other hand, Next.js is better used for projects that benefit from SSR and SSG and where SEO and performance are critical. And last but not least, for each quick setup with sensible defaults and built-in features. In conclusion, while React provides the core tools for building user interfaces. Next.js extends that React capabilities with additional features that enhance server-side rendering, static site generation, and overall application performance. Choosing between React and Next.js depends on the specific requirements and constraints of your project. If you have any kind of questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm your host, Norbert BM. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also clicking that notification bell in order to get notified whenever I post a new video. With this being said, we shall happy coding, lovely day. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.